Look at that dancing fool. <laughs> Welcome back to the frying pan. Oh, the fish is going crazy too. Today, I thought it'd be interesting if, you know, like the the big frying pan we have over here? What if we made it look like it was on a stovetop or some sort of heating, cooking area? It would totally be a frying pan then. It would be cooking. It would get heated somehow. I just also wanted to do something different with the whole spawning area where I started. But, like, imagine if this was a stovetop with, like, some grill circles or such. That would be pretty cool. And definitely would have to expand down something down below to make the storage for the iron a bit bigger. Also, I don't know why these guys keep escaping. I've killed three of them so far? Maybe it's a water mechanic thing. I'm not too sure. I don't have my ledger on to go check. But I want to dig out all this area, get rid of all our pressure plates for the temples I've gone to. I'm going to keep the sign. Gotta keep the sign. This is the episode one, episode zero sign. But all this other stuff can go. I don't even remember what I had in any of these. Signboard, we'll move on to another thing. Because some of these are actually done. But some of them aren't. And I need to replicate that banner in places. But let's go get the beacon, set it up, dig this out, and then we'll start making a stove top. Now that the beacon's set up, I'm just going to dig out everything below the first layer of dirt. I probably should have torches with me too. But all this is just going to get dug out completely all the way to the the um, iron farm just everywhere luckily I did border this in gravel or gravel yes that is gravel everyone you may not know what gravel is but that is gravel now <laughs> in cobble so it'll be easy to find and I won't dig into the lava which would be bad because lava would just go everywhere and you know chaos and such but we're gonna Take all this out all the way down to I think probably this level so then it's a it's just even with the floor and it would be a really interesting um, like stovetop the stovetop idea I was thinking of is like the electric one only because I have electric stove right now the gas one I was thinking about that but that would require some decoration of flames I'm not too sure about the flame thing I might try it. I can always do some flames with wool or concrete. You know, decorative flames, obviously. Not not real flames. It'd just be more chaos. We got fire. We got, what, lava in the frying pan? And you got flames everywhere? It's like hell's pan. That's what it would be. Um, oh yeah, here's my stair stone. You can dig out all that. Dig out all this dig it all out it'll be a big empty area and we can start designing this stove i may have accidentally made a mob farm <laughs> i took out an area right here but I, I think i might keep this area as dirt so you know so it's like there's the frying pan stand and everything, and then this is just part of the mountain. But I dug it out anyway, and then I realized later that I probably shouldn't have. And now look at all the mobs. It's just, there's, what, five, seven creepers in here? Ooh, can I get a record? You're gonna die, horse. You better be careful. Oh, that skeleton totally shot this creeper to me. Shoot the, shoot the creeper, shoot the creeper. Oh, you died. I so want to, okay, thank you. I so want to have a record. I should make a record um, maker, well, you know, with creepers and stuff. I know you guys probably can't even see this. Let's see, let's put some lights around. There, look at this chaos. All the bow spam. <laughs> They're all dead now. Awesome. Oh, you're not dead. 
Hello. So this part I'm actually probably going to fill in again. Um, but everything else I'm going to dig out, I will totally get this horse out of here. How did you even get in here, dude? Why are you in here? But next thing to do is to dig out this stone. All the dirt is gone, and we just have all this stone and andesite and horrible, horrible granite to get rid of. And then we will have the area for the frame pan. I don't know what kind of design I'm going to do. I was thinking of having like it having white sides, but now that I think about it, maybe it'll have gray. Maybe it'll be like a pixel art stove, but how would I do pixel art? And what colors would that be? I'm not 100% sure on this. I'll probably just mess around with some stuff, find out which is the best looking option, and go with that. Let's make sure we don't accidentally destroy anything important over by the iron farm. Okay, good to go. Also, the chickens are down here. I don't know if you can hear them clucking. There's a massive amount of chicken. Why are you raw? You should all be cooked. That is very weird. But soon all the stairs will just... This whole area down here will merge with the chicken thing. It'll just be like an inside of a stovetop area of storage for the iron. Though there's not much, but extra storage means I wouldn't have to go and make sure it's empty all the time. I could just leave it for months on end, days on end, that kind of stuff. Let's dig out all the stone. Empty our inventory of a bunch of stuff. And then start designing this stovetop. I may have said that last time, but there's not much to do besides dig. And I don't think you want to just watch me dig. Though when I was doing the dirt, it was really satisfying to just be like, zoom, 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 zoom. Until my shovel's like, repair me, please. I left myself this itty bitty pathway. Everything else is gone. It's just, wow. This mountain hill is just gone. Now we just need to get rid of everything else. So the idea is to just dig everything out, drop it to the ground, pick it all up later. I don't know what's in these chests. I probably don't need a lot of the things. I know a lot of that first chest was from my AFK Fisher, my first one, but then I moved it to a different area, so it's okay. This chest has another wart in it. And we also got to get rid of the sign of all the horse names and everything else, but I did take pictures of it, so there's no problem with removing that. Except I didn't put my pickaxe in my in, or in my hotbar. I had to retire the silk touch pick and the shovel because they were almost broken. And now we just have this diamond pick that I found in one of the chests over here, but it'll work out just fine. Get all this trap doors. Not trap doors. Pressure plates. Did I call them trap doors earlier too? I don't know. They're made almost the same way, right? Get rid of all these. Oh, there was like a bunch of plants in that. Actually, can I even reach that one over there? I don't know. Let's get rid of this one. And all this. The only thing I'm going to keep is that right there. The one square of dirt with grass. This is welcome to the frying pan. That's the only thing I'm keeping. Everything else will be gone. And let's fill that in. So let's get rid of the Neapolitan bar. I apparently unlocked recipe. That's fun. So I just need to pick all this stuff up. Definitely need to save the signs. Probably ditch like some stuff out. Oh look, there's my banner. Let me go pick all this up, organize some stuff, and we'll get to building. I sh probably should use some of the chests. I think the main part of this will just be a box that goes around. And so I'm going to use some stuff that I never really use. It's going to be the terracotta, or as I like to call it, clay, because it's clay. But I think... I'm just going to make a box that goes around this 
leave a little bit of space. Let's see, how far should we go? If we go right here, does that match up? Yes. So let's take this part down. So I want to make it a box that encloses this, but is far enough away so I can put like an automatic storage thing in, or not automatic. Well, maybe automatic. I could also put that into the mountain. So I'm not too sure. Look at all these hoppers, though. You could just see the craziness of the hopper chain to the one chest. But I want to make sure I make it eventually go all one direction or split in different directions and then have a bunch of storage and then make it so I could just break the chest and make the blocks if I want to. So let's give it a good distance away. Maybe like that? Maybe one less. I know it's not much of a difference, but that might be better. And I was thinking the bottom of it could be brown or gray. So we could just do like... Oh, that was brown. I was actually thinking gray, and I put brown down. Okay, so gray would go here. And let's continue it on. How far was that? It was one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. So about six away. So let's just go across this way until we're about six away. So that's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should match up. Yes, it did. I can measure. And then we're just going to go completely over till it hits the mountain. And it's just going to go into the mountain, into the hillside. But I think this, I think the the gray is going to be a good base to make it look like there's like a metal plate below the cooker. It could be like a portable one. I might actually go up by two. Do I have enough for that? I do have enough for that. So let's, oh, that's brown. Wait, do I not have enough? I don't. I thought I did. But now we can do like decorative things of maybe putting a layer of brown or two and then going on to the gray, making it look like it's an actual sort of cooktop. I wanted to use the clay and the gray, light gray, to really make it stand out. It's going to look very strange from a distance, but I think it'll be interesting. It'll definitely be a place to cook on a frying pan. And this being the frying pan, it seems to fit. Let's do like a, um, a stripe of light gray. And it's going to get all sorts of dark here. Do I have a torch? I do. Let's just hold the torch. I've been running back to that bed so many times, I'm getting tired of doing so. And we should be kind of safe. There's nothing that means stuff can spawn, but I think we'll be okay. So it should actually go into the hill. I think I'll have the gray go three, and then we'll do the clay. I think I got enough gray. I might have enough gray. I might have to go get more. Let's run around this way. Almost done. And then this, this area here will be this clay. And I think if the clay like did like the, a curve, let's actually let's test that out real quick. Because I might need another set of clay. What I'm thinking is it curves like so. And then if we look at it, it should match up. It does. Fantastic. So the cooktop will be right here with the coil sticking out and such maybe indented. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do the coil. I might have to do some testing and stuff and see how that turns out and then come back to it. And these are going to turn into clay balls. So definitely we'll have to try to remember to fix my silk touch pick or just be careful on how I place that clay. Uh, probably just be careful on how to place it. I don't really feel like running over to fix a silk touch pick right now. Good to go. Let's get the clay out. Whoa. And I messed up. So let's turn these back into clay balls. Turn them back into clay blocks. And set these all up. 
I think it was just one set of clay around and then it went in. Oh, it was two. So I'll have to definitely get more clay. Let's finish this up. If you guys have any ideas on a certain type of cooktop, that'd be cool. I'm thinking like maybe iron trap doors just to make it stand out a little teeny bit. Maybe have it inset so stuff is raised up. That might be a good option as well. The mobs are in force, but I am safe-ish. Too bad there's not an iron golem still alive. Or is there? There was a guy around earlier, but... He may have died. Let's just not give you a way up. Ha! So, six from here would be... One... Oh, hello! <laughs> Hazardous job! I just want to know how far over I can go. But you guys aren't making this easy on me. One, two, three. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's run to the bed, shall we? Maybe I should always keep one with me. Don't blow anything up. I want to live. I continued it on around the corner. It looks very, very cool. Look at that. That's just amazing. I definitely want to do something about um, decorative stuff around it. I'm not too sure. Maybe build up some of the mountains again. I mean, I could have the frying pan block not floating. That would probably be best. Can I get up here, please? All the chickens are dying. So I need to dig out this part here. And I didn't keep a shovel with me. My diamond shovel is broken, or not broken, it's just in a really, really bad state of really needing to be repaired. So I didn't want to keep using it. But I don't want dirt to show at the very top of this. So I'm just going to dig this part out, just so we can put like a bake top on our cooktop. Hopefully we have enough clay to finish this up. I believe so. At least that part. So let's make sure... I found over on the other side that this was not six away. So I want to make sure that this is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. That other side was a little bit uneven and it was a pain to have to try and fix because I was like, no, I have to break the clay and I don't have my silk touch to break it easier and it was a bit of annoyance. Oh, and I ran out of clay again. So I'm going to have to get more clay. I'm going to finish this part up. Finish up the little ledge. I think I might put the brown down. I'm not too sure. Um, maybe I'll have it be brown cooktop surface or I'll have it be, like, not the gray. But I want to have, like, an indent of red. So, like, little lines of of red showing, you know, like it was the heating element. Just need to figure out how I'm going to do that. Oh, if I could jump up, that would be great. Let me go get clay, let me finish this up, and then we'll discuss stuff, I guess. I got enough clay, but I think I'm going to have to go back and get more brown. But the idea of this is... Oh, look at the chickens burning down there. Burn, chicken, burn. The idea of this is this row right here will actually be red, but it'll be down one. But maybe this row should be down. Except you would see the cobble, so no. This row will be down one here. It'll be red, and then there can be like trap doors above it to make it look like a burner. Just so it looks like it's on fire. I could actually use magma horse. Magma horses. I could use magma horses. Make that a thing. I could use uh, magma blocks to make it glow, I believe. And I think this is three across everywhere. I hope so, anyway. Big ol' handle. 
At first I thought it was really off center because the handle just sticks out way far, but every burner is like that. It's also way, way high. I thought about lowering it down, but I'm so used to the pan being up that high that it, it just seemed natural to be that high. I might curve the clay down a little teeny bit, like maybe remove the top layer, get rid of one layer of this uh, light gray and bring that down just a bit. I'm not too sure, but that'll be in the next episode where I look over burner options, experiment maybe with getting rid of this and lowering this down. We'll have to see how things look. If you think it looks fine this way, let me know. If you think it should be lowered so you can see a little teeny bit more of the pan, I could do that as well. So let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you all next time. Bye.